What you are seeing here are dust particles floating in the air. Specifically, this is dust in a normal household that we can see thanks to the bright sunlight from outside shining through a gap in the curtain. You have probably noticed that you can see dust in this way in your own home, when it's bright and sunny outside and dark inside. We're using a black screen as a background to help us see things more clearly. What's really nice about this is that it lets us see what is normally invisible, and that is how the air moves in the room around us. Here we can see that the air tends to be flowing in this direction. But now watch what happens when I place my hand in the way. Do you see a change? Now we can see that the dust particles are clearly moving upwards above my hand, meaning the air is flowing upwards. Then, when I remove my hand, we see things go back to as they were before. Huh? So what's going on here? Is my hand somehow repelling the dust? Well, what you're seeing here is an example of convection, meaning heat being transported by air flows. Because my hand is warm, it heats the air around it, causing it to rise in the room. And the rising air carries the dust with it, allowing us to see this normally invisible effect. The hotter the object, the more it heats the air around it, and so the stronger flow it causes. Just watch the flow caused by this hot pan that's been heated to an excess of 150 degrees. We can clearly see that the hotter surface causes a much faster flow of air upwards. The truth is that all hot objects tend to cause the air around them to rise. This includes radiators, our bodies, computers, and even mobile phones. This means that your own body heat has the power to influence the air flows around you. Also, this rising heat is the reason it's normally warmer upstairs than downstairs. So we have clearly seen that all hot objects tend to cause the air around them to rise. But what about cold objects? Well, just the opposite is true. Cold objects cool the air around them, causing it to fall. So next time you open the fridge or freezer, pay close attention, and you'll be able to feel your feet getting colder because of the cold air falling. All of these hot and cold objects contribute to causing convection currents in a room, which refers to the overall flow in a room caused by temperature differences. So why are we interested in this? Well, in this example, we can literally see the air flows carrying dust around the room. But the air also transports other things. This includes pollution from cars and other sources, but can also include virus particles like COVID-19. So we're not only interested in convection currents for keeping warm in winter, we're also interested to prevent harmful particles from being transported to our bodies. The branch of science that investigates air flows and convection currents like this is known as fluid dynamics. So the next time you go to open the oven, remember to think like a scientist to avoid any nasty surprises.